actually George's last day with us, and we want to make sure he knew how much we appreciate all that he has done for us. So we have a couple of different things um, I'm going to present to him, but I just wanted to let, make sure everybody thanks all the board members and everybody coming out um, and helping. Um, <coughs> hey, be quiet! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> The attention belongs to George right now. Okay, I got my handy dandy speech on my bright pink paper. Okay. Can, can you be my helper? And just hold that for me. Okay, oh, don't get orange on it. Uh, okay, maybe not. Thank you. <laughs> okay, my handy dandy speech. Actually, there's two things that I have learned um, about life at Habitat. And so I just sort of, and no tears, bro. Okay. No tears. Mm -hmm. Promise me. Okay. 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 <laughs> George was like, oh God. He'll, he'll do it. He'll oh. do it. No, oh. you better not. Okay, keep, hold your, hold your sadness inside. Okay. <laughs> but two little quotes. I, I love getting quotes. And the first quote is, um, life, <laughs> life is what, what lies behind us. And what lies before us are tiny matters compared to the life that lies or lives within us. The other thing, as we talk about life, um, being at Habitat for not over a year now, we have seen some very interesting things happen. Um, and I am amazed, I think, a lot of times of how we deal with them. I can always count on George to always tell me, the cup is half full, Priscilla. It's half full and always having a positive outlook. Um, so the other quote that I have for you is, life is not about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about dancing in the rain. And over the past year, you have taught me how to dance in the rain. For many, many occasions, you, you guys probably know some of the stories in and out, just even with this build and the tortoise, the tortoise and all these things and we're like, Oh my God, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? But there's always something through the process. So that's definitely something that George has taught me. One of the other things I also wanted to make mention and why we sort of selected this time. You okay? Okay. <laughs> this time we also wanted to honor Sue. She didn't know this part. Um, because a lot of times, and you guys that have worked with Sue, you know how wonderful she is with the volunteers and you know, sending the emails out. And she is also coming up to the ending of her um, membership as well. So um, I'll pick one of those for you. And this one actually, oh, give me. Okay. I'm going to read the letter um, that actually comes from the Director of National Service at Habitat for Humanity International, and they actually both have this same letter. Um, Dear George, and I'll put Sue in here too, uh, thank you for your service and congratulations on successfully completing your AmeriCorps term. Through your service with Habitat for Humanity, you've helped us serve more families in need of better housing, adding to the more than 600,000 families served nationwide or worldwide since our founding in 1976. Your service has contributed to the significant impact of our AmeriCorps program. This year alone, Habitat AmeriCorps members have helped to serve more than 2,500 families, engaged in more than 200,000 volunteers and raised millions of dollars in cash and in-kind resources. As you reflect on your service and contributions, I hope you plan to stay connected with Habitat and you better. <laughs> just thought I would, that's not in here, I just thought I would add that. I digress. And take the cause of safe, take the cause of safe and affordable shelter personally as you go forward in life. Habitat and the world need your passion, dedication, and enthusiasm more than ever. Nearly two billion people still live in poverty housing and there is much to do to meet the needs of these families, both here and abroad. Um, I also encourage you to continue your relationship with Habitat and your fellow AmeriCorps alumni as you join the ranks of more than 800,000 people who have served in AmeriCorps. 
including more than 7,000 Habitat AmeriCorps alumni. Through Habitat AmeriCorps Alumni Association, we will work to support, connect, and mobilize our vast network of alumni to continue to get things done. <coughs> Thank you for your service to Habitat for Humanity and the families you have served. In service, Peter Bowman. All right. Beautiful certificate in here as well. Oh, okay. Picture, picture, please. Yay! Okay. Oh, we still have orange. No, 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 no. No. Peter has cheetah fingers. Cheetah fingers. Yeah. Here, Zion. Ready? Ready. Okay. Okay. One. And. I can make you a Zion. Zion, it's a baby white. It's hot. Really? Thank you.